Crystals are pretty mysterious components and can be really tricky. Even when they are faulty, they might still seem to be working, which can fool you into thinking that they are fine. In this video, we are going to figure out how to test a crystal like this one to see if it is not just working, but working correctly and accurately. Crystals, and especially clock crystals, are super common and are used to keep things accurate in timing. For example, if you want to build a digital clock or need to use a clock and calendar in your project, you will need a clock crystal in your project. But the main issue with these components is that sometimes they don't have the accuracy you need. This could be because the part is damaged due to overheating while you are soldering it, or maybe it was a fake component from beginning. For instance, if the clock crystal you are using in your project isn't accurate enough, your system's clock could run fast or slow. The best way to check uh, if your crystal is accurate or not is to test it with advanced tools like an oscilloscope and a function generator. To test the crystal, you will need to generate the crystal's nominal frequency with the function generator and apply it to one pin of the crystal while probing the other pin with an oscilloscope. Now, by making very small adjustments to the input frequency, you need to see at what exact frequency the output signal's amplitude peaks. That frequency is the crystal's actual frequency. For example, if I want to test the 6 MHz crystal, I generate a 6 MHz sine wave using my function generator and connect it to one pin of the crystal, then prop the other pin with my oscilloscope. By fine-tuning the input frequency, I try to maximize the output signal's amplitude. Right now, if you look closely, you will see that the output signal's amplitude is at its maximum and if I adjust the frequency up or down, the amplitude decreases. So, this frequency is the crystal's actual frequency instead of the nominal 6 MHz. One important thing to note is that if the output signal's amplitude never changes, it means that the crystal isn't just inaccurate, it's completely dead and won't work at all. I'm sure that after watching this video, even if you don't have an oscilloscope or a function generator, you'll still gain a better understanding of how crystals work, right? Maybe you are even thinking about past projects that didn't perform well and it might have been due to something as simple as the crystal quality. But let's not worry about the past. If you are into examples like this one, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment so I know to make more videos like this one. Have a good one. See you in the next video.